The California National Party (CNP), Spanish: Partido Nacional de California (PNC), is a political party in the state of California. The party's primary goal is to achieve greater autonomy for California in the present and in the future independence from the United States. The platform includes a wide range of proposed reforms to immigration policy, health care, taxation, banking, the electoral process, police departments and the justice system, schools, and more. These proposals are generally left of center and reflect the party's pragmatic progressive ideology. Topic: <laughs> Official status. The California National Party is listed as a political body attempting to qualify. To complete the qualification process, the CNP must register about 65,000 Californian voters. This effort is ongoing, and as of November 6, 2018, the California National Party has registered 721 voters. The Secretary of State lists Sacramento Attorney Theo Slater, who was elected chair at the party's June 2016 convention, as the primary contact. Platform <laughs> 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 The California National Party platform is revised every two years, and is crowd-sourced from a wide range of volunteers prior to editing by an elected committee. The 2018 edition relied on input from more than 50 contributors, and contains 10 planks. Largely in response to the election of Donald Trump, many structural changes to the election process have been proposed in order to create a government that better represents the population it governs. Economy and finance Creation of a National Innovation Fund to fund pure research and science. This fund would retain patents on technologies created and offer discounts on use of those patents to Californian companies. Licensing fees would be reinvested in the fund to make it self-sustaining over the long term. Creation of a Californian National Credit Union, owned by the people of California, instead of a central bank. This credit union would have branches in all post offices. All citizens would be able to access free or low-cost financial services via this credit union. Simplification of the tax code and a progressive taxation structure that eliminates loopholes and exemptions and spreads the burden of taxation more evenly. Free. How to start a business. Training programs, to be offered via community colleges statewide. Micro credit loans via the National Credit Union to be made available to graduates of this program to help them launch their businesses. Increased funding for programs to help professionals retrain mid career and adapt to a rapidly changing modern economy. Breaking up media and cable monopolies. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Environment. Immediate turnover of all federal lands to the state of California. Immediate ban on all clearcutting and a move to sustainable forestry based on the German and Japanese models. Restoration of fisheries and river ecosystems wherever possible. Funding from the National Innovation Fund for Renewable Technology and a commitment to move California to a post-carbon economy. Social justice Legal mandate for equal pay for equal work, regardless of gender, orientation, race, or other factors. Large-scale investments in STEM education, particularly for schools in low-income communities. Free college and trade school tuition for the top 50% of students who graduate from Californian public schools, significant cost reductions for the rest. Housing first approach to homelessness which would house all homeless people, accompanied by a ban on busing programs many cities and counties across the U.S. offer homeless people free one-way bus tickets out of town and California is a top destination due to its temperate climate and a commitment to file lawsuits against any government entity that runs such programs with California as a destination. End segregation of cities and communities. Criminal prosecution of individuals at financial institutions that use redlining and other discriminatory tactics to promote the continued racial or ethnic segregation of neighborhoods. Six months paid parental leave for both parents. 
<laughs> Infrastructure and quality of life Building and expanding high-speed rail Expanding regional public transportation systems and consolidating control of those systems to the regional level to improve coordination across city and county lines. Fixing roads and freeways Major investments in repair and upgrades of water infrastructure to achieve long-term water security. Simplification of building permits and regional planning of housing, in coordination with mass transit, to reduce cost of living and freeway congestion in California's urban areas. Subsidies and incentives for property owners who adopt green technology. <laughs> Diplomacy and military Opposition to U.S. wars and foreign intervention as long as California remains part of the United States Post-independence, advocacy for a foreign policy based on neutrality and non-intervention. Post-independence, mutual defense treaties with other countries in North America. Post-independence, a small professional army backed by a larger citizen militia armed via relaxed gun controls, based on the Swiss model. Post-independence, all citizens would have to register for military service at the age of 18. History The California National Party draws its inspiration from the Scottish National Party, which advocates for the independence of Scotland from the United Kingdom. On January 6, 2016, the California Secretary of State's office sent a memorandum to each of California's 58 county registration of voters' offices to inform them that they had received formal notification from the California National Party of their intent to qualify. As a political party on December 7, 2015, and thereafter assigned the party a code designation of CNP. Formal organizing for the party did not begin until June 2016, when the CNP party held its first convention and elections in Sacramento, California. At that convention, Theo Slater and Andrea Franco were elected as chair and vice chair. Jed Wheeler, founder of Californians for Independence, was elected secretary as the two groups merged. The CNP adopted a new platform, based on the Californians for Independence platform, in September of that year, and launched a website, mailing list, and recruitment drive. The party refiled with the Secretary of State in November 2016 and the new leadership was officially recognized shortly after. In January 2017, Andrea Franco was severely injured in a car accident and had to step down, at which point Jed Wheeler became the vice chairperson. Chuck Barretts and Justin Hibbard were elected secretary and treasurer respectively in a special election that same month. Wheeler resigned in June 2017. In June of 2018 the CNP elected a new slate of leaders. Theo Slater was re-elected as chair and several new officers were chosen, Manuel Carrasco, vice chair, Yvonne Hargrove, secretary, Lyra Porcasi, treasurer, Brett Pike, political action coordinator, Michael Lobes, chapter coordinator, NorCal, and Rosemary Lemmies, chapter coordinator, SoCal. Candidates <inaudible> 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 In 2018, the California National Party supported its first two candidates, Michelle Gomez for San Diego County Supervisor, and Michael O'Leary for Board of Equalization District 3. O'Leary did not advance in the primary, as he finished eighth with 43,084 votes, or 3.4%. Gomez advanced to the top two in the primary, but lost in the general election with 42% of the vote. Related Yes California Alaskan Independence Party Hawaii Independence Party Second Vermont Republic Republic of Texas Group Republic of Lakota Proposal List of active separatist movements in North America <laughs>